Well, hello everyone. I got something kind of interesting I thought I'd show you. Here, I have a center mic made by Sorensen. <clears throat> I've never seen one before. I don't remember how I got it. It was probably a yard sale or something that I was at. But uh, I thought I'd show you how it works. It, it, it's kind of, it's, it's neat. So I'll show you how it works on this test block. And I'll kind of tell you the instructions as we go along here. But the way it works is it measures the inside, the outside. And as you're measuring the outside, it gives you the final center to center hole. So this block is stamped on at 3.000. In other words, it's three inches on the nose. Okay, so what it says to do, it says move A against B and one tight, move right slider to caliper the nearest point on the two holes, keeping three tight and two snug during the fine adjustment. Okay, so what it's saying is you keep these two tight and then you move this guy, this end. So you bring it in, you snug it up, and tighten this guy. Okay, then it says loosen one and move C against D, then retighten one and loosen two and three. So what it's saying is you loosen this guy up, you slide him all the way butt tight, snug him back up. Now you loosen these guys and you go to the ODs of the or the outsides of the holes. And then you clamp. And wouldn't you know, it's reading three on the nose. Now there is another way to do this. It's a little bit faster, especially if you guys have digital calipers. Um, I have these. I very rarely use them, but I do have them just in case. Um, one of the things you can do is use your digital calipers. If you measure the inside of the hole and zero it, and then measure the outside of the hole, look, 0.2995, which is pretty much three inches too. That's a faster way to do it, obviously. Um, but I thought I'd bring out this tool just to show you because it's a, it's a really interesting tool. So on one of the pieces I've been working on, in previous videos you saw this piece here so I need to find what the diameter is of these holes and um, I figured I'd use this just to kind of show you now being the fact that these are cracked it's difficult to get an accurate measurement but I figured I'd try anyway so do like it says Get it the best we can. Snug this guy up. Put this over. Loosen him back up. And tighten it. So, looking at this, you know, it's three inches past the three then it's also past the the first line after the three which is 25 each line on these guys here is 25 so this would be 3.3 yeah 3.325 but then it goes past the 25 mark so you gotta find the line that matches up the closest and if you look at it there's the five. The five line looks pretty close. Six lines pretty close, and the seven lines pretty close. I'm going to say it's the six. So that would be 3.331 according to this one. So if we do our caliper measurement, the digital caliper, just like I had showed you before, let's pick a hole here. That's 190, 178. So that's the problem with this is the, this is all cracked and everything. So I'm just trying to get a rough idea of what the 
center to center of the hole is. So let's take a measurement here. Let's try this in here. And it's difficult with these because the points like to fall into the crack, but right there is 3.332. Yeah, three, three, five, three, three, four. So they're reading pretty much close to the same thing. So that's a good sign. Um, but I'll I'll show another video that finishing this up or machining this. So the whole purpose of this video was to show you this center mic made by Sorensen. It's something that you know. You really don't have to have in your shop. Uh, you can get pretty accurate measurements for finding the center to center of a hole. That's the intention. Your digital calipers will work just the same. Um, it's all in what you're doing. I don't use these very much, but they are very nice to have. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. It's right on the edge of the pattern, so I don't think I'll go more than 120,000.